what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to YouTuber Day 12. So today's video is going to be a little interesting. Um, today is going to be, since it's spooky season, books I've read that has scared the ish out of me. Let me preference, let me preference, I'm not triggered very easily, I am not spooked very easily, and I don't know, I'm not too grossed out easily. However, these next couple books that I'm about to show you did kind of just do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go through them really quickly. I'm going to try not to give anything away about them because they are kind of spooky and you really need to go in there. I suggest if you read these books, you go in under the covers, okay? Go under the covers, get yourself a little bowl of popcorn, maybe. Have, like, minimal lighting, maybe just a candle going, even, little bit of rain, if if the ambiance has some rain in it, that's really good. So, here we go. The books that actually scared me, and I, I may have thrown them across the room. So here we go. All right, book one is The Witch of Halloween House by Jeff Dojerek. I'm not even sure how to say this. Um, this one was pretty creepy for many reasons. That's the cat. So in here you have your classic tale of a witchy-like woman who is persecuted as a witch. The townspeople kind of burn her house to the ground and now she has a curse. Hi, niece. She's put a curse upon the town. Children start going missing one by one, and a gingerbread is left in its place every time she steals a child. So there are some really, really freaky scenes in here. You got animals doing things that they should not be doing. So yeah, I <laughs> there were some scenes. This book did not hold back at all. I definitely threw this book a couple times. Um, yeah, there was a couple times I threw this book. <laughs> so this is a good one if you want like a witchy book, like a witch taking revenge upon the town. If you want something that is like no holds bars, like this witch is going to like not only potentially slit your throat, but maybe some boils, <laughs> you know? So that's the first one. This is a really good spooky one and not for the faint of heart. We're just going to stare at Natalie up here the whole time. It's fine. All right. Next book, kind of in the same storyline as the Halloween house. This is Maggie's Grave. This one to me is even more messed up in the Halloween house. So we have a woman, again, who is persecuted as a witch. There is a scene where she has her baby cut from her, and of course she's decided that she is going to um, curse the town. So in the town, the people are not allowed to really have children except for this one person who has had a child, and now Maggie wants her baby. She wants her baby. Um, there is a scene. <sighs> How to not go into detail. There is a scene at Maggie's grave where these two people are doing the deed. And it was probably one of the messed up scenes I, I think maybe I have ever read in a book. So, um... If you think this one, the Halloween house, is not for the faint of heart, this one is ten times more messed up. Like, <laughs> you didn't think you could get any more messed up than this. So, 
Um, yeah, I, I did love this book. I liked it a lot. I do like a book, a book that can make me go, oh no, and I just go, oh, I'm sorry, book. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, that, like, literally, there are some marks from me just throwing this book, being like, nope. No. Oh, my God. Always interrupted by cats. So, there you go. Another witch story where she takes revenge, but... Oh, so... Th that scene, I'm telling you, where they're making out in front of Maggie's grave. All right, next on the list is a classic. It's Stephen King's Misery. This, so like The Stand is my favorite Stephen King book of all time. This one, however, takes the cake as far as messed up. Just messed up. So we follow a best-selling novelist. He has gotten into an automobile accident and he's quickly found by Annie Wilkes, who, if you know, <laughs> if you know your Stephen King books, she is an obsessed fan of Paul's. So she takes care of Paul, um, and yeah, uh, the scene that really was really messed up to me was there was a scene with, I think it was rats or mice, I never, ever wanted to throw up so much reading that scene with the rats down in the basement than I did this. Um, yeah, I don't think there's ever been a book that's made me want to, this is it. So this is a classic. Of course, there's a movie that goes along with it. All hail the queen of horror, Kathy Bates, because if you watch this movie, it's, she's scary. She's very, very scary. <laughs> so, uh, read the book, watch the movie, you're, you want to be spooked, here you go. So this is Misery, Stephen King, a classic that scared the poop out of me. Before we get to the next one, I have one that I don't have a physical copy of anymore. Um, I'm going to kind of briefly tell you about it. It's a book my aunt gave me. Um, it's called False Memory by Dean Koontz. And I specifically remember that I don't have this book anymore because I was like, get it out of here. <laughs> I specifically remember this book being so psychologically messed up it took me so long to read it it took me a long time to read it now I read this years and years and years and years and years ago um when I was first getting into horror and psychological thrillers and stuff like that so I've been thinking about revisiting this book however right now in my brain it forever lives as the most messed up book ever. So it has to do with um, people's memories in their head being switched around so that it's something, they remember something different. Um, I believe it's a therapist who's doing it. Like somebody goes in and they have a therapy session. There are cats, ever okay, you got Tula back here. Luna's right in front of me here, Natalie's here, and then the outdoor kitty Oreo is out here. So there's, I'm surrounded by four cats. Anyways, so I believe it's a therapist that goes in and, you know, you're having a therapy session and this guy has switched memories around. I gotta reread it, but currently in my brain, it's the most messed up book ever. So you want something messed up? Dean Koontz, False Memory. Again, I don't have it anymore because I was like, nope, this can't live here. <laughs> all right, last on my list is uh, one I talk about all the time on this channel. Uh, it was my favorite book of last year. If you've been watching the vlogs and watching all of the YouTuber videos, I have repeatedly talked about this, video, this book to death. Um, it's not necessarily horror. I would consider it psychological thriller, but that's Bunny by Mona Awad. Um, yeah, there's some, there's some really gross 
messed up scenes, especially when they're in the bunnies, what they call it, the smut house? Uh, where is it? The smut salon. There are some scenes in the smut salon that is like messed up. Again, this is a book I've thrown lots of times. You can always tell when a book is just too much for me because I, I throw it. I quite literally throw books because I'm like, nope, nope, no thank you, not today. Um, so yeah, Bunny is really good. We follow Samantha who is in a writing program at a prestigious college and she happens upon the Bunnies, this um, high class group of girls who is like, I don't know, they're, they're very robot. Yes, Bunny. Awesome, Bunny. Thank you, Bunny. This is also considered a dark academia because you have a university setting. You have a mystery going on. However, the mystery that's in here, Samantha's kind of an unreliable character, narrator, and so you're not kind of sure what's going on. I've said this a million times. I want to reread this knowing what I know now. Um, you have what could potentially the bunnies being a cult. So, yeah. That's bunny. That's my final recommendations. Like I said, this is a small list because not many freak me out. Um, I will say, before we leave, make sure you look up trigger warnings. Because I'm not triggered very easily, I don't look up trigger warnings. But anytime you re read horror or psychological thrillers, look up triggers if you're easily triggers, triggered. Please, I beg of you, don't do yourself dirty, okay? So, that is everything. These are the books that scared the poop out of me. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys read any of these? What books have you read that has scared the crap out of you? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're doing a video every day in October. Tomorrow's video, I'm hoping to be another kind of recommendation, kind of spooky season thing, but instead of books that scared the crap out of me, it's going to be recommendations of books that are great for the season, but have just a little, little hint, little, little dab of uh, a spookiness to it or, you know, witchiness or what have you. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.